My obsession with food really comes from my childhood. It comes from my mother, primarily, who was Welsh, and my father, who was Bengali, which meant that I had a really unique mix when I was young, so eating everything from wonderful Welsh cakes and the baking that Wales is very famous for to the mild and interesting curries of Calcutta, uh, which my mother, in fact, was a great cook of. She went to India when she was first married as a very young woman and, and learned how to cook spectacular Bengali food. And our whole family became obsessed with food, and we still are. We remember every meal that we have, and it's how we signpost our lives. I was a book publisher, and I enjoyed it very much, but then I got to the point where I didn't enjoy it. And there was really a combining of things at the same time I turned 40. My mother passed away, and, and I almost, quite frankly, had a nervous breakdown. I began to cook, which is what I always do when I'm feeling miserable. And I found an old notebook up with my recipe books, and it was things I'd planned to do when I was 40. And at the bottom, I'd written four words, which was, go everywhere, eat everything. And the next morning, I went to work, and I handed in my notice, which was a bit of a surprise to everyone, but it was the beginning of a new life. Obviously, when you, you decide to go everywhere and eat everything, it's, uh, it's a fairly wide brief. I decided to ask the world what it wanted me to eat, and I started getting amazing responses. A friend had invited me to the American Royal Barbecue Competition in Kansas City, Missouri. I was invited to Thanksgiving in Santa Cruz. So a lot of these things started to come into place, and those formed the framework, and then around them I built a list of foods that, if I was lying on my deathbed, I would be really cross with myself if I'd never tried, if I had never tried tacos in Mexico, if I'd never eaten steak in Buenos Aires. And as I began to make that, it built into a trip, and I began to organize it from that moment. My journey took me to as over 30 countries and over 100 cities. And I ate everything from cured elk in Finland to boiled sheep's head in Iceland to a braai, the big barbecue in South Africa. But really it was more simple. It was when I was sitting with friends having a hot dog in Chicago or I was sharing a meal on the train going on the Trans-Siberian Express. When I think about the best things I ate, it was always where I was sharing it with people, not just when I was in fine restaurants. And I did eat in some fine restaurants. Food was my prison of looking at the world through. And I think what my journey did was to re-establish my belief that the world is really actually a pretty good place, and, and primarily because the people are really amazing.